All right, guys, what's up? This is a video that wasn't planned or anticipated by any means. It's based off of news that just was released from the support pages of Pokemon. Um, and it's something that we've all been hoping for. And it's something that, well, a lot of us have. Scalpers aren't going to be happy. <laughs> but uh, it's something that I've spoken about personally and it's something I was hoping for. Um, you guys know Pokemon product has gotten pretty tight, super hard to find, super hard to get. And they've just been like cleaning out house like in these retail stores and so pokemon actually announced that uh they're gonna be doing large reprint uh waves they haven't specified what product yet okay this is via that their uh support page actually i'm gonna put it on screen if you check out the play pokemon twitter first they say that we're aware of some fans experiencing difficulty purchasing certain pokemon tcg products due to high demand and in response we're going to be reprinting impacted products to maximum capacity, all right? Now, if we dig a little deeper and we open up the actual article, um, I'll read it for you guys again as well, just from after that paragraph. In situations where there's limited availability, we are actively working to print more of the impacted Pokemon TCG products as quickly as possible at maximum capacity to support this increased demand. Reprinted products are expected to be available at retailers ASAP. Big news. For new Pokemon TCG expansions last, uh, launching in the future, we are maximizing production to increase product availability upon release, and we will continue to reprint the products to replenish stock at retailers ASAP again. And then they go on to just thank you guys for your support and patience as they try to deliver. Now, there's two big things that strike me in this kind of article. Firstly, is like, you're going to start printing at maximum capacity? What does that mean? You haven't been doing it all the time? I don't believe that that's a, a fact that they haven't, you know, something or a company as big as pokemon you know their goal obviously as any company is to make as much money as possible so they're going to be printing as much as they can like uh, personally i believe as much as they can all the time but this is more of like a, a like a a heartstring kind of thing you know they're trying to like make a connection to you make you feel like they're listening to you firstly and that they hear that you guys are crying out that you're not getting what you're trying to get and it's so hard that you're becoming discouraged to participate in the hobby, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth, and that scalpers are destroying the hobby, okay? So this is them reaching out to you guys, or, or all of us, per se, and saying that, listen, we hear you, and we're going to try, and we're going to do better. Um, by them saying printing at maximum, I, again, I just think that they're going to be printing more. I don't think that it means that each wave is going to have more in terms of quantity. I mean that there might be more waves, and when I talk about waves... I mentioned it in my other video with Shining Fates. Shining Fates is going to be coming out in multiple waves, guys. At least, I think, four confirmed. So be patient. For all of you guys who ran out and bought all the XY Evolution booster boxes at $1,000, man. Now, look, look, do you know if XY Evolution is going to come out again? Was it worth it? I'm not here to judge you guys. I'm just here to help you guys, right? And for those of you who were asking for it, here it is, right? Now, you know, again non-specified product it can be any sets but don't be like oh my god we're getting a sky ridge reprint that's not gonna happen if that if that was to happen i would become a scalper i'm telling you guys being 100 honest i want sky ridge so bad but that's not gonna happen so we can expect maybe probably like vivid voltage uh maybe some more i mean chance path is still coming out you know so probably primarily vivid voltage will they go far will they go back to xy evolutions hopefully i mean i'm hopeful You've seen us pull a few Charizards here from XY Evolution, so I feel kind of content with it. But who doesn't like seeing XY Evolutions open up? The nostalgia from that pack is incredible. Um, the next thing they talk about is that the expansions in the future will be uh, held to a maximum production rate. Um, again, I believe they were already there in a sense, but what they do mean is that they're going to be printing in multiple ways. Again, Shining Fates, Battle Styles, the big two coming out. They're going to be coming out in much more waves, probably over more like prolonged periods of time, you know. So maybe that means that they're going to be printing this for eight months, six months, whatever. But they're going to be trying to maximize the amount of uh, that set or upcoming sets out there. All right. So even if they sell out in a like massive like shortage in the first like month, because everybody knows Shiny Fates is already like most of the pre-order is gone. And to get anything close to... Uh, I don't know, an ETB, you're going to be spending like maybe 100 to 120 retail now. Well, not retail, um, like to buy it from a person who's pre-ordered. And uh, retail is just gone. That's it. You're not More than likely, you're not getting it out of retail. So you've got to go to somebody to 
basically purchase it off them from a private sale, etc. So, guys, please, 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 please be patient, okay? This is news from the man themselves, all right? RCS heard our, our prayer, man. Reprints, you know, Vivid Voltage. I've been chasing that Chunky Chew. It's so hard to get my hands on it. You know, I hope this means like uh, a lot more Vivid Voltage coming out because they said that they were going to stop printing Vivid Voltage and that booster box instantly went from like 140 to 200. Now we're talking about like 220 to 250. And this is something that, uh, it, listen, it's it's just a matter of supply and demand. It's always going to happen when it comes to Pokemon product. But it's nice to see that Pokemon has reached out to its fan base to announce that they're trying to do whatever they can to help, even if it's like a kind of half answer to it. But listen, what this does mean is that two things, you guys are more likely to get what you want. And two, that the scalpers might be more and more discouraged to continue doing what they're doing, which is buying out these stores. Because now, like, if they're buying these boxes, let's say, you know, I bought my XY Evolution Booster Box at 500 then I opened it in, what, December, and now we're in February, and it was at 1000 That's less than two months. It doubled, okay? Less than two months, and it doubled in its value. But, you know, in the interim, people were picking it up 600 700 knowing it's going to go up. Oh, I'm going to be the guy who sells it at 1000 Listen, I get it. You're making a quick buck. But uh, I don't think buying out retail stores is the way to do it. You know, you're you're discouraging others from participating in the hobby because who wants to waste their time, energy, gas, everything running around hunting for Pokemon cards, right? It's not fun to drive for hours going store to store. And I'm very thankful. And I hope you guys are too that um Pokemon's gonna be doing something like this, alright? So I hope this update from me and uh you know Pokemon does cheer you up a little bit in regards to the hobby. And uh, I hope you guys expect to see more news updates from me because I'm actually getting really into reading these these daily or like sometimes even hourly news updates. You know, this is something I've been reading as of like five minutes ago updated. So I literally ran to the computer after looking at it on my phone and try to get it out to you guys as soon as possible. Right. I hope you guys do appreciate the effort on my half. And I hope that you do take this information a long way and, uh, you know, just go out and buy some packs again, like the good old times. Right. So until the next video, which is probably going to be tomorrow, here we out.